Hi, this is Nicholas Lapola with Red Zebra Media and Instamagic Plugins. Welcome to the Simple Video Pro Settings tutorial on the Appearance tab. This tutorial assumes that you've already entered a source for this video. Now, click on the Appearance tab. This is where you can change the look of the player and give your video a more professional look with a skin frame. Click the Skin Frame drop-down and choose a custom frame for the video display. When you make a selection, a preview thumbnail will display to the right of the drop-down. If you select CSS Skin, more options will display to the right. You can create a limitless number of skin frame designs that are very lightweight and CSS style driven, instead of graphically driven. First, click the border style drop-down to choose from up to eight border styles that will display around the video. Then, enter a border width Here's a tip. For border styles like ridge, groove, inset, and outset, a minimum border width of 4 pixels is suggested. Here's another tip. If you just want a glow shadow around your video, make the border width 0 and select Shadow Style Glow. Click the Color field and use the Color Picker to select a border color. You can then choose a frame shadow style. Normal will make a shadow cast to the right of the frame, and Glow will make a shadow behind it that's even all around the video frame. Last, click the Shadow Color field to pick a color for your video frame shadow. Here's another tip. If you have a site with a dark background, choose yellow to make your video look like it's backlit or glowing. Next, you'll see a widescreen checkbox. If your video is in a widescreen format, be sure to check widescreen so that the frame will be the correct size for the video, the correct aspect ratio. Next, you'll see the settings for the width. Max width. This is usually the width that the video was produced in. This can also be the exact display size of the video, if you don't want to use the next field, which is called percentage width. It is required that you set the max width. Use the max width as a basis for any graphic logos, banner ads, splash images, or buttons that you plan to display inside the video. They'll all start out based on this size and then be scaled down to fit the video when it resizes for mobile responsive themes. Which brings us to responsive theme sizing. You'll see that there's a percentage width field. To make videos responsively sized to fit the page that they're in, even when the page size changes, like with mobile themes, enter the percentage size of the video here. For example, if your content area is 800 pixels wide and you enter 50 as the percentage width, the video and its skin frame will be displayed at 400 pixels wide, which is 50% of 800. So now you never have to measure a space again. Just enter the percentage and you're done. Now to the alignment. You can select None to have Simple Video Pro not add any alignment properties to a video. It'll just use the theme's default alignment. Select Left to always place the video on the left side of the content. If the video, for example, is set to 50% of the width, it'll take up half of the content area and any text in the content will flow around it to the right. Clicking Center will place the video in the center of the content area. The text will not flow around the video. It'll be above and below the video. Right Align will place the video on the right and the content will flow around it on the left side. In the next section, I'll show you how to use the features on the Controls plus Embed tab.